Hello everybody, MegasX here, the Volatile Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft TechIt 3.1.1 from scratch. So this is not an update from a previous version of TechIt, this is from a complete new install as if you've never installed TechIt before. So let's get started. So we're going to go to technicpack.net, and I'll throw that link down in the description for you, and just go in the TechIt tab, and we're going to start by clicking on the download the Technic Launcher. I'm just going to open the link in a new uh, tab. And we're also going to download the Technic Server 3.1.1 zip. So go ahead and save that to your desktop. And now let's go get this one. And we'll save that to the desktop as well. So now we have the launcher and the server. There we go, that's all good. Yep, so let's close that up and let's get this started. So first things first, you're going to want to go ahead and install that. And I'll add an annotation. If you've already got the Technic Launcher installed, I'll add an annotation to skip ahead. Do, do, do. All right, so that's the problem that you always encounter. So once you've clicked on that and did that little loading right there, go in, go ahead and press Windows key and R. And I do it this way because this works on every operating system. And you're going to type in percentage app data percentage. Go into your .technique launcher folder and double click on your .technique launcher .jar. So now, now it's going to load up properly. And go ahead and click the drop down and select TechIt. And also go into your options and click on manual build selection. And do this drop down here and 3.1.1. All right, I'll be right back. Got a phone call. Okie doke. So we got the uh, latest version set and manual build selection. So it is important that you have that. You need to have that on. So let's go ahead and log in. And I've said it before, but you do have to have a premium account for this. I'm not even sure if it's possible to install all the individual mods on their own. It might be set up and tweaked for this launcher. So let's log in. All righty. So I'm going to be right back once it's all done and doing its thing, and I want to show you a little trick as well. So one sec. All right, so that's all installed, and once it's done installing, it's going to pop open your Minecraft. And so here's a little trick to enhance your shortcut. So go, and you're going to be in your .technique launcher folder, which I showed you how to get to before. It's uh, using your percentage app data percentage. Right-click on technique launcher .jar and press Create Shortcut. Now you can drag this new uh, shortcut I just created down to the desktop, and you can close that now. And what you're going to do, go into Properties, and you should be in the Shortcut tab, Change Icon, Browse, go to your desktop, and go find the TechniqueLauncher.exe, the first file that we downloaded. So that way you switch it like that, and you can also right-click and rename to whatever you like. And now you can put it with the rest of your gaming icons or whatever. So that's a little trick, and at this point you no longer need TechniqueLauncher.exe. I'm not even sure if it would run it properly, I, I don't know why it's glitched like that. All right, so let's set up the server now. So we can click on multiplayer, and then we have to actually do the server. So right-click on your desktop or wherever you want it, go to New Folder. Doesn't matter what you name it. And uh, I like to put the zip file right in the folder, so if I ever need it again later, it's there. Okay, so let's open up that zip file. I'm using WinRAR, which I could throw a link in the description if needed. Select everything except for your double dots, and go ahead and drag them over here. Doesn't take too long. Now at this point you're going to go to launch.bat and double click. And I'm going to throw a link or an annotation in here. If you have any issues with this launch.bat, I already have videos up on that. And that should get those issues resolved. So let it do, let it do its thing. And uh, once it's all done, you should be good to go. Now you might want to edit some stuff in the server.properties. Server I'm going to make a video on that as well too. So I'm not going to go too much into detail right now. Uh, but that's what you can do. And uh, once you're all good to go, you're going to go back to your Minecraft and add server. Now you also need Hamachi at this point. So let's go ahead and load up Hamachi. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to network, create a new network. Type in whatever the name is going to be. So we'll call it techic 311 abc and password whatever you want it to be. Now that information will be given to your friends to log into your Hamachi. So if you're the guy that's running the server and you're the guy whose friends are joining your server, they need to have that uh, previous information and they also need to have this number right here, this IP number. They need to have that and they're, um, it's important that you don't mix those up. So your number will go right here in Minecraft now. So it's 5.124.69.107 and we're going to click done. 
and you'll see there it is green so that means it's good to go and uh, and if you want your friends to join they would do the same thing but in Hamachi instead they would click join network they would put in the uh, name and the uh, password that you selected and then they would come here to Minecraft and they would put in your IP as well so it would be the exact same the, the exact same thing in this case it would be this one here so that's all good you go ahead I guess I could click join just to show you that it is working and knowing my luck I'll spawn in water because I always spawn in water <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, okay, I thought it was water. Sounded like water, but I guess it's not. So that's cool. And so that's how you get Tekka 3.1.1 installed on your computer. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And uh, if it was, please do give me a thumbs up. And uh, if it wasn't helpful, be sure to comment and let me know what the issue is. And we'll try to get that fixed as soon as possible. So once again, this has been Magus X, the Volatile Gamer. And have yourself a great day, and peace out.